Okay, continuing on with crazy good comfort, meet my new favorite gal, the Eakin button up top. I am going to have to keep one of these if you ladies don't mind, because I love her so, so much. I'm excited about this girl. She is such a fun take, something so different than the stuff that's in my closet. You can wear her as a top, like I have her styled now, or you could wear her as like a shacket slash cardigan. And I'm gonna show you that look with something layered underneath her and her just left open. You can tell by her cut that she's gonna be easy to layer underneath. She's a really great weight, so I think she'll give you some good warmth just by herself. But add to that the fact that you can layer underneath her and make her even more cozy. And just, I think that makes her more versatile even going into spring with like some blue jean shorts on and a little tank top underneath her. And you just, I don't know why my brain like paused on tank top. Anyways, you just toss her on, leave her open, toss her on. And she's your little uh, cool summer evening layer. Okay, so the Egan, enough like blabbing on about her. Let me give you the facts. She's a cotton poly blend, so she's soft and has some nice give to her. You can see how that fabric is giving right there, and she's this kind of clay, brick clay color. Up close, you can see that is not a good depiction. of. You're getting a pretty accurate Anyways, but this will give you a good idea of what, oh, that's not bad, of what her fabric looks like. But you can see already, look at the detail on this girl. Do you see that contrasting fabric that you see all down the shoulder of her and down the sleeve? And it's also seen here along this pocket. So many details to talk about. So starting at the top, she's got a classic uh, classic collar. She goes into these tortoise shell buttons. I'll show you an up close of the button. All of these are functioning. So this will be a little nursing friendly top. If you want to wear it as a top, of course, you can unbutton it, like I said, and wear it as a little cardigan or shacket. So she has these fun, this fun raw seam detail all down the buttons of her. Then going down into the sleeve, she's almost a dolman sleeve, but she doesn't ever have, sometimes a dolman sleeve will still have like a shoulder seam just really far down. This one never has a shoulder seam. So if you have, look, if you have larger arms or broader shoulders, larger chest, this is gonna be a dreamy, roomy fit for you, easy to snag the right size in this one. Going down, like I said, you can see that that, that contrasting fabric detail goes down, relaxed sleeve, slightly fitted cuff right here. And the sleeves aren't overly long, but I did wanna show you this sleeve rolled up so cute. This is exactly how I would wear it into spring is this little sleeve rolled up. Okay, those are, oh, in this pocket, you've got like an oversized pocket on the front with raw seam detail, and it also has that contrasting fabric. So you can see that it's a high-low cut, so higher in the front, lower in the back, giving me pretty decent booty coverage all the way in the back. It's slightly scooped, but not super drastically. So sizing on this girl is, my goodness, yes, small, medium, and large. I am wearing the size small. This is very similar to the Lindsay in that if it were longer, I would say it's oversized, but because it's not, I don't feel like it's oversized. It just feels like a very relaxed fit on me. I do think that if you are in between sizes, you could size down in the Egan unless you are really tall and you might not want to do that where you don't lose length in the front. So um, I at 34C, I have, I mean, plenty of room everywhere, two, three, 25, 26. In the front, it is a little bit shorter.